Space Lab Theatre. Standing on stage made me feel free and powerful. When I stood on stage, it's like I left this world and joined another, one which I had no worries and which I was happy. My name is Christopher. I don't want to live anymore. Unlike several other suicide victims, I haven't been carefully choosing this day, planning it step by step. Obviously, suicide was one of my options, but 24 hours ago, I wasn't in such a rush. Hi. Aki babe, I've just found out I have a cut today and I haven't even prepared for it. As I said, I could have breakfast. Can I have a little There is tea in the flask and bread in the cabinet. You can just brace yourself. I, I can't eat bread. I can't risk getting fat. Just give me the money and go get something for myself. Thank you. I'll see you in a while. So you finally decided to go back to school? Doing nothing isn't as fun as you thought it was going to be. Anyway, don't go yet. I need you to give me a ride. It's bad enough that I've had to walk to school the last couple of weeks. Hey bro man, so you've been gone for long. I've seen you for days, Ban. Where have you been? I've missed partying with you. Nowadays, chicks and drinks. This is my pungwa sana, bro. Drinks and chicks. That's all I was good for. Money. No one had seen me for days yet. No one came by my house to look for me. For Chris, so come up with the candle to get us. Okay. Ah, ah, bro. Hey, love man. I didn't even call you. I did I just talked to my dad and he said, "We give you the internship tomorrow, man. Tomorrow." Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I haven't seen you in rehearsals for a while, man. He has even been recasted. What happened? I remember when you and theatre were inseparable. I've been dealing with some issues of blood. You see, seven months ago, I was diagnosed with major depression. I lost interest in my activities. I could barely sleep. I felt worthless. I could barely make decisions and I had suicidal thoughts. I tried therapy for a while, but, but it just didn't work. Man, you look miserable, my dear. Ah, son. You can't Chris, Sana. Chris. Hey, Chris. Bro. Chris. Hey, man. Yeah. What? Okay, I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. Yo, Yo. Chris. Man. Chris. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, it's
can't begin to tell you what was going through my head as I walked down that road. Losing a loved one is not easy, let alone a mother. When my father told me the news, I felt my knees crumbling and my heart stopped for a moment. I could feel the air escape my lungs and the tears rushing down to my eyes. All I wanted was to be alone. I took a walk to clear my head, but there was nothing to clear except questions that that lacked answers. I'm sorry to bother you. Are you okay? Please talk to me. I know what you're thinking. But what kind of person would I be if I watched a distraught lady walk past me and fail to try helping? Obviously, it's not advisable or safe, but oh well, it's just who I am. Hey, what is going on? A week ago, I found out that I was pregnant. Yesterday, I told my boyfriend and I have not heard from him since. Have you decided what you're going to do about it? No. What's your name, young girl? Audrey. Okay, oh, listen to me. It is okay to feel sad and abandoned in this life. But right now, take time. Don't take any rash decision that you regret in this life. You just have to do this. By the way, if you need any person to talk to, just come to me. In fact, I can just take your number. That's the problem with us men. We never want to talk about our problems. It's not our fault though. Society has raised us to believe that being quiet is a sign of strength. Men should keep it to themselves. Crying is a sign of weakness. And of course, despite not wanting to share problems, we also don't want to listen to our fellow men's problems. We simply laugh it off or dismiss it. We need a support system. Society should stop ignoring this fact. I started by writing the letters. On that night, I slept more soundly than I had in months.
The next morning I woke up early and left for school. If I was going to die, it would be at my favorite place. Which brings us back to here. I always thought I'd be afraid to die. But now that I'm at the verge of death, I can say it's not what I thought at all. I have no doubt. This is it. I have already taken the pills. And um, according to the internet, it will be short and painless. By now someone has probably found my letters. Brendan, I obviously didn't expect you to betray me like that. But if it's love, then go for it, brother. I want you to know that I'm at peace. There's no place I'd rather die. Michelle, I want you to know that this wasn't your fault. I was in a bad place that had nothing to do with you. I hope you find it in your heart to forgive me. Life's a struggle. Better do this from the star ground Why you got wisdom teeth cause it gets harder Life's a struggle Better do this from the star ground Why you got wisdom teeth cause it gets harder I've been holding on for a while My rock done got tired and now I can climb They be trying to get me caught up on the silver plate And I be like no thank you that's just silver bait Oh Mama say never settle for less More pain I want more nigga yeah I touch my pain They be trying to come from my backstabbing by then I be like